Okay. I want to be very serious about this. I want to be very serious about this story, okay? Because I I don't want to assume, but now people's actions and how they're acting right now causes me to wonder, okay, just how many people are intertwined with the diddler? I know, P. Diddy. Once top of the world, now bottom of the barrel. And look, if he does name names, if he does speak out, okay, fine. But look, I, I, I find this to be rather concerning. So first, before we start talking about the diddler, I got to bring up somebody who, you know, look, I, I do like when he was speaking truth to power, you know, talking about standing against censorship. Russell Brand, look, buddy, the timing of this is a little off. I think there's a lot of people out there that are scared right now, okay? And I'll explain why. That ultimately, there are only two possible destinations for glory, self and God. I'm a person that a celebrity and show business and entertainment and performing and showing off for a living. It's so easy to want the glory. It's so easy to return to self. It's all so easy to want attention. I'm participating in other people's lives, other people's campaign, getting involved in an election in a country that I'm not even from because there are matters that I consider to be really important. What I have to abide by, what I have to be obedient to is the principle of all glory going unto him. And I reckon that's one of the biggest challenges I face because I like approval. I like people to like me and want me and care about me. But when I'm reminded that there is only an audience of one right now, even right now, I'm not talking to anybody but Jesus, a kind of liberation comes over me. When I accept that I don't change myself through endeavor, I am changed by him. Now, look, um, who, who am I to judge? I, I'm not going to judge anybody by finding faith or, or if they're, you know, making a new leaf. But, you know, I'm going to I'm going to keep this quiet. All right. It's going to be muted because there's copyright music being played. But I played this before. And look, a lot of people knew P. Diddy. And, you know, I forget which comedy special it was, but Cat Williams, Cat Williams, the prophet of our time, all lies are going to be revealed. You know, he, he did a skit and you know what? I'm going to butcher it. But he was talking about going to be invited to a P. Diddy party. You know, and he, he was talking about like, hey, there was a lot of crazy stuff going in. So he walked in a room and, you know, I, I'm, I'm not going to do it properly. But walking into a room, he did this on, on the stage. You know, it's one thing to walk into a room and just see. Because one has to wonder, you know. Cat Williams probably saw things as like, okay, that's it. I'm up out of here. Because right there in the corner area is none other than Russell Brand. Now, this is muted and quiet. Okay. It's muted and quiet. It's pause, put on pause. But a lot of people knew the diddler, okay? And then there's and there's and there's Russell. Uh, and that and that guy, oh that guy, that guy quickly got up. Ah. Uh, yep, and so did Usher. <laughs> there, there, yeah, a lot of people knew. A lot of people knew. A lot of people knew. Earl. Ain't no party like a diddler party. Yeah, a party. Ha, huh? stuttered there. You mean like what LeBron James said? Or how if you if you rewind back, if you rewind back to uh, the early seasons of the Keeping Up with the Kardashians, they talk about P. Diddy parties. They, they talk about P. Diddy's parties. It's all one sick club, folks, and you ain't in it. You definitely ain't in it. Um, let's see. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to make sure I acknowledge because uh, we got a couple people here as well here in the chat. Um, Molly Littlebird says, I have not watched Russell since he got Jesus as he is now a bit preachy. I think the can listen, when you got hit with that kind of cancel thing, as well as not know as well as knowing the whole things surrounding Hollywood and everything else. 
people panic. People do panic. People do panic. That's that's that, that's something I brought up on Do Dissidents um, when I was hosting the show on Sunday. Um, and Indie News says Russell was always an op. I hope that wasn't the case. And um, yes, uh, see, so Gray Walker joined third party. You bring up a good point. My problem isn't believers; it's with the church, all of them. And let's see. And Steve Wolfman says Russell has become a Jesus freak. And also, uh, Casper, I'm afraid Russell is lost. Well, you know what? People make their own choices. Okay, people make their own choices, and that's what happens. And the thing is, let's face it: Hollywood is a land of depravity. So. No, you couldn't hear what they were saying or talking about because there was copyright music being played in the background. But now I want to pull up this video segment here. It's going to be difficult to listen to. They talk more about uh, what's happening with the diddler. About 120 men and women are now accusing uh, Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault, false imprisonment, and numerous other sex crimes. The music mogul has already pleaded not guilty to federal charges, including sex trafficking. CNN's Elizabeth Wagmeister spoke with the accuser's attorney. More than 100 new accusers plan to pursue legal claims against Sean Diddy Combs, according to their attorney. These were people that were there, that were, that were allegedly drugged and then allegedly raped, passed around, woke up the next morning with just completely clueless about what had happened to them. Combs denies the allegations. His lawyer telling CNN, in part, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. Combs already faces a dozen civil lawsuits and has pleaded not guilty to charges of racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Houston attorney Tony Busby tells CNN he intends to file individual lawsuits against Combs for each of the 120 new accusers, some who he says have already spoken to the FBI. Do you have video evidence of your clients allegedly being sexually abused? It's full on video of, of things happening that would never be appropriate for public viewing. Busby says he's in the process of collecting video, photos, text messages, medical records, and drug tests. Many of your clients have alleged to you that they were given a horse tranquilizer. You know, you hear that one time and you think that's really strange. You hear it three or four or five times, all of a sudden you're like, holy, well, what is going on here? In the indictment, federal authorities also accuse Combs of drugging victims. They do not believe that Sean Combs acted alone. I do agree with, with the FBI and the federal authorities. I do think that there are a lot of individuals involved and a lot of entities involved. Household names, are we talking about celebrities, executives in the entertainment industry? All the above, yes. We've all heard about the white parties just because a celebrity is photo. Now, look, they're going to be bringing up the fact that just because somebody's in there doesn't mean they partook in it. And that is true, okay? Listen, we have, we have a system of laws and rules, innocent, before being proved guilty, because, you know, folks, there, there's one thing about the sick club in Hollywood. And it's 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 a little sad because I, you know. I've I've heard some my fair share of stories. There's people who have talked to me about it, you know, and it's just the reason why some people probably showed up at those parties is because. They're forced to be there or they owe somebody the Hollywood is a place in which. If you owe somebody a favor or they got something on you, there ain't nothing you can do. And it might be years before you're finally free. So you have no choice but to show up or be there at certain places. Hollywood is a sick place that is home to sick people. And so when you see all these people there at, at that event, you know, probably not all of them partook, you know. There are people who have said they were at a Diddy party and then they left right away because things were getting out of hand. Maybe it's because they had the option and freedom to actually get the F out of there. Or, hey, all right, that's getting out of hand here and I'm leaving right away. We don't know the full damage of these parties. So everyone, please reserve your judgment until everything is all said and done. But uh, we're just scratching the surface. Hell, we're just dusting the table.
<laughs> Sorry, folks. I didn't mean to keep that there. There you go. Equalizer. You know, you hear that one time, and you think that's really strange. You hear it three or four or five times, all of a sudden you're like, holy, well, what is going on here? In the indictment, federal authorities also accuse Combs of drugging victims. They do not believe that Sean Combs acted alone. I do agree with, with the FBI and the federal authorities. I do think that there are a lot of individuals involved and a lot of entities involved. Household names, are we talking about celebrities, executives in the entertainment industry? All the above, yes. We've all heard about the white parties. Just because a celebrity is photographed wearing white at a Sean Combs party does not mean that they are complicit in any criminal activity. The white party comes up quite often um, and uh, typically later in the night uh, with the same MO, uh, a drink, uh, drink laced with something in some cases. Was this all happening in plain sight at these parties? That's the allegation that people saw exactly what was going on. Yeah, no, no. There's, there's, there, there's, there's been numerous times it's been hinted at and talked about in the early seasons of keeping up with the Kardashians. You saw Cat Williams do a stand up act calling how disgusted he was and how he walked out. I only can imagine what he saw. Why, why, why do you think that interview that Cat Williams did way back in January of 2024, which I have to say that interview gave me fuel to push forward to not give up. Because all lies will be revealed. All lies will be revealed. Cat Williams is the prophet of our time. But the whole Hollywood system, everybody's being revealed. Drake, P. Diddy, every single major celebrity. I mean, come on, folks. Don't panic. We're, all, we're, we're not even done yet. All lies will be revealed. And did nothing about it. Now, these new potential lawsuits comes as Sean Combs is already incarcerated in a Brooklyn jail awaiting his criminal trial. The attorney tells me that out of these 120 new accusers, 60 are men and 60 are women. He also says that 25 of them allege that they were minors at the time of these alleged incidents. The attorney says that he plans to start filing these lawsuits within the next 30 Cobra Commander, Eyes Wide Shut is just a movie about white women. <laughs> <laughs> and pot. <laughs> hey, I forgot about that movie. <laughs> but hey, hey, turns out, hey, turns out Hollywood was just was just subtly hinting in that movie to say, hey, you think if we show this movie, people are gonna notice? I mean, come on, come on, folks, come on, folks. Let's be clear. Let's be clear here. And ju and just because you know. Drake or Diddy or everybody else they seem to be collapsing all around. Trust me on it. There's another another evil person who's waiting in the wings just to take over. OK, and look, a lot of people have been to a Diddy party and there are men and women who are coming forward as they should speaking about their abuse and what they went through, speaking about what happened to them. We are in a very dangerous situation here in which we are seeing the entire trust of the hollywood system the hollywood apparatus explode in real time and i for one welcome its absolute destruction because for far too long hollywood has been flying around being smug you we have these rich millionaires these actors and actresses talking down to us telling us how to live how to be these are the same people who help contribute to the culture in many ways a culture of consumerism and capitalism getting rich being powerful, fla fla flaunting off your goods and wares. But there's always a price, a price to everything. It's long overdue that Hollywood just cracks into. But folks, don't get discouraged. Don't despair when you see your favorite actor or actress being put uh, or being called out because this is only the beginning only getting started and i for one welcome it get ready folks you're about to be shocked even more <laughs>